Hey, Bill Clinton was doing a rally in, I believe it was Pennsylvania or Philadelphia at least. And he had some protesters there who were part of Black Lives Matter. And he had some interesting things to say to their protesting. Take a look. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I heard it. Can I answer? No, you see, here's the thing. I like protesters, but the ones that won't let you answer are afraid of the truth. That's a simple rule. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. I love, look, at, at every campaign rally, I welcome the protesters. I had a guy in South Carolina interrupt me. And the cloud started booing, and I said, no, no, let's be quiet and listen to this person. I let him say the same thing twice. And I said, may I answer? He just kept screaming. Then a lady next to him said, I said, wait, wait, listen to her. I let her say the same thing twice. I said, okay, may I answer? Just kept on screaming. I want to deal with them all. Come on. No. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. See these other signs? This is what's the matter. I don't know how you would characterize the gang leaders who got 13-year-old kids hopped up on crack and sent them out onto the street to murder other African-American children. Maybe you thought they were good citizens. She didn't. She didn't. You are defending the people who kill the lives you say matter. Tell the truth. You are defending the people who caused young people to go out and take guns there and they're blaming me and apparently her she had nothing to do with it and the reason is they know it's true is they won't hush when somebody won't hush and listen to you that ain't democracy they're afraid of the truth don't you be afraid of the truth don't you be afraid of the truth so if you think it was bad in the 1990s, if you think record increases in income and record low unemployment, record decreases in poverty, and record small businesses forming was bad, you ought to go with them. Otherwise, you better elect Hillary president so we can get this country going again. So after that, of course, everybody was in an uproar, unless you were a Hillary Clinton supporter. I saw a lot of Hillary Clinton supporters on Twitter, you know, Still supporting, still, you know, seeing nothing wrong, trying to, you know, back him up. And apparently enough, the criticism online hit him. And today, uh, which is the 8th of April, as we're recording this, uh, he decided that it was time to respond. Well, his response was less than good because all he said was, I, I almost want to apologize. But I'm not. But he didn't. And that was it. Yeah. Um, why I'm so upset is because I've always been a Bill Clinton fan. Um, I know he's had his issues like all presidents. He's done some things that haven't been, you know, uh, as good as you would want to be a president. Uh, he's had many wars that people don't know about or small skirmishes that he supported that a lot of people don't know about. He's had a lot of policies that have been very hurtful to uh, not only lower income people when it comes to how he readjusted the way that you get your money from the government when you're on like food stamps and things of the such and cause a lot of people to work less hours because if they work any more than that they're not going to get their food stamps and he kind of took away that gradual system where you should work your way off of food stamps instead he kind of made like a hard line stop He's also supported his wife when she called black people super predators. You know, those things that I wasn't necessarily too excited about, but those are things I've learned recently. As far as his overall presidency, I saw it as a good thing. He brought a lot of income to the country. He brought a lot of people together, even, you know, even though he had a scandal, which is, you know, it's pretty severe. You're getting stuff done to you in the White House and then you blatantly lie on TV. But that, that aside, he had a relatively good presidency, especially compared to some of, our, some of the presidents before and after him. He's done quite well. But this one really upset me because, like I said, I'm a bit of a Bill Clinton fan. And I was even in Kentucky uh, in, where, at EKU when 
he had his rally in Lexington, and it was a huge, huge deal. Tons and tons of people went to go see it just to shake Bill Clinton's hand, and I was always jealous I couldn't go. But seeing this new clip and this new side of Bill Clinton kind of saddens me because it's like, well, why would you say such things? For being such an intelligent person as Bill Clinton is, he's able to look at issues for the deeper reasons in these issues. He should know Black Lives Matter isn't just supporting black people of all kinds doing whatever black people want to do. He should know that this is a direct, uh, a direct confrontation with the way the police force have been abusing their rights when it comes to how they treat citizens, not only black citizens, but also white citizens. But it just happens more often than black people, it's a fact. So that's why they stand up for black people more often than not. This isn't just, oh, well, you know, black on black crime, white on white crime, we need to eliminate this. No, this is a very specific thing going at the fact that we need to retrain and reacquisition the way our police officers are used in our communities to make them more effective. So for him to go on a rant and a tangent to say that Black Lives Matters are supporting drug dealers who are getting 13 year olds hopped up on heroin and other drugs and just sending them back out to the community to kill other black people showed a very ignorant side of him and it showed his just aggression. I don't think it was really well thought out. I think he was angry that he couldn't speak and he he's like, I'm a past president, you should let me speak. And I felt like it was more him being aggressive. But in those moments, those moments really define people. If you really want to know how someone is and how someone thinks, get them upset and then see what they say. And what comes out of that mouth is what they truly feel inside because the filters that the mind puts up subconsciously or consciously are now wiped away. And you get to see what someone really feels. And I feel like he showed a lack of respect for black people, a lack of respect for Black Lives Matters, and really put a shade on something that is really important in this country. So, okay, so the Clintons have come out and they have previously apologized for, you know, the effects of the crime bill, their support of it. Uh, Hillary has apologized during this campaign of hers for using the word super predator and especially the context that she used it in, especially with saying bring them to Hill. Um, so we've heard them apologize for it. We, we've seen that. So we know that there appears to have been some remorse, to, but then when you see this video and you hear him talk about how uh, other black people told him to, you know, do this bill because it would be good, it's, it's insane. It makes no sense. And then he goes on, like you were saying, and like the video clearly shows, talking about how Black Lives Matter is supporting the people you know, who are killing the people that they say those lives matter. That's a Republican talking point. Yeah. Black on black crime. We see it all the time on Fox News. That's what they like to say. That's, I just saw Ray just Rice say it, if I'm not mistaken, a little while ago. I, if it's the wrong person, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure it was Ray Rice. And uh, it, it was the way that they said it. Uh, and I want everyone to understand and realize Black on black crime is just as prevalent as white on white crime, which is just as prevalent as Hispanic on Hispanic crime. This is not something that's, oh, only black people attack other black people and it's an issue. No, black people stay in black communities, white people stay in white communities, Hispanics stay in Hispanic communities, Arabic stay in Arabic communities, Asians stay in Asian communities, predominantly. And when they enact crimes, it's rarely on another race because who is around them? Someone of their same race. So it's not like black on black crime is a huge thing. And I, I saw a post and it was a really good post. It was like, no, it's, it's like the disenfranchised versus the disenfranchised, the poor versus the poor. It doesn't matter what your race is. You are going to enact crimes against your own race more often than another race. It is a fact. If you go and look at it, white on white crime is more prevalent than white on black crime. Black on black crime is more prevalent than black on white crime. Asian on Asian, <laughs> Arabic on Arabic, you can go down the list, literally. So for them to try to throw some, well, why aren't people upset about black on black crime? 
Well, first off, there is a lot of people working in those communities to confront black on black crime. There are tons and tons of speeches and meetings and groups that are organized to help lower the amount of black on black crime. But that's not the focus of Black Lives Matters, so don't put them in the same sentence. Black Lives Matters is not focused on black on black crime or petty crime in general. They're focused on the police officers who keep getting away with murdering people on the streets in cold blood who are not harmed, who predominantly are black. They were there when a kid was killed at a, a fast food place, a white kid was killed because he had a small amount of marijuana on him and a marijuana stain. And the cop tried to say that he ran him over when it was proven from the coroner's report that the cop was in nowhere in danger and opened fire on him from the side and from behind him with another female in the car. Black Lives Matters were the first one there, not this All Lives Matters movement, which is a complete and other farce to try to again degradate and dis take away from the power of the Black Lives Matters movement. So to say that they are one and the same is shows not only an ignorance, but an arrogance that you know more than what this movement is when obviously you haven't paid attention to it as you should. Uh, first, I did want to say, make a, uh, an edit to what I said earlier. It was not Ray Rice. I said Ray Rice because he's a phenomenal football player and it kind of popped to my mind. It was Ray Lewis who had recently talked about the fact that Black Lives Matter has a problem because they're not talking about black on black crime. And again, it shows that he has not paid attention to crime statistics. It shows he did not pay attention to other things. He was just trying to make a statement that would get traction, a statement that's been made multiple times, which is a false statement that needs to stop being compared to Black Lives Matters because there are various groups confronting black on black violence and violence in general in various communities. But that's not what Black Lives Matters is pertaining to. And I just wanted to say, um, I too liked Bill Clinton as a president. Of course, I was young, so, you know. Same as me. But I know what the effects of his presidency were or are. And seeing this, though, it, it makes me, you know, realize just how to the right the Clintons can go from time to time. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it it shows what they really think. If there's any question, you know, in your mind what the Clintons think about you know, black people, well, there it is, right there. You know, and that's why I always love when Bill Clinton campaigns for Hillary, because you find out the truth from him. And it's so damning to, their, to her campaign, because now they have to go back in, correct what he said, or, you know, that's not what he meant kind of game. And, you know, something similar like this happened back in 2008, where he said, you know, to the, about Obama that, you know, he would have been carrying their bags. You know, that, that's what they think about black people. It's these, and you, I, I love Bill Clinton for it, at the same time I hate him for it. You know, because it shows you where they really stand. It shows you who they truly are. They'll say whatever it takes to get elected, and but realistically they only view you as a vote as another number you know they they could care less and it's and it's all a part of this strategy that they do and it's called triangulation where in the primary they pivot to the left and they go try to appease all the democratic voters so they can win then in the general they go to the right you know this this proves how to the right they actually really are and it's you know a little disheartening to see because he was one of my favorite presidents and he was called the first black president yeah you know and that's what he really thinks so. and and before he wraps it up real quick i just wanted to say like if any other president would have said this like imagine if obama had said this about white people imagine if obama said that white people are only care about other white people and they only defend white people especially the white people who are still selling drugs to their community and sending their kids out all hopped up on drugs the media would have had a field day with this they would have went over and above to call him every other name in the book to try to discredit him as a person but when other people like bill clinton like hillary say some of these outlandish things the media is kind of like oh well 
maybe he meant it this way or maybe he was trying to say that or this or they double down on what they said and give other facts that have nothing to do with black lives matters to try to damn an organization that has really come from nothing to make a serious statement about an issue in our country and i think fox news is going to love this clip um it's going to play well in the general election um doesn't matter who who it is they can edit this run it as an attack ad this is what they really think you shouldn't vote for them if you're black because of this right here this is what they really think and also just imagine if it had been jane sanders bernie sanders wife that said something like this imagine the field day they would have had with this constantly attacking him and her because of it but yet bill clinton does it Nothing. Only people get upset is the internet, the yeah. regular people, but main media says nothing. 